Good morning all and welcome back to another beautiful day. The weekend is here once again. And um, the games I provided yesterday on YouTube was successful. We had Poland to win and um, the game between Albania and Czech Republic over 1.5 goals. And I gave you my reasons behind each of my selections and it did well. To be honest, the whole reasons backed the predictions up. The game between Poland, I gave you a correct score that Poland is going to win that game 0-2 and um, that Poland will not score more than three goals or more than two goals in that game yesterday. And Poland won 0-2 and the other possibilities were under 3.5 in which I was very confident about it. It was successful. The second game was Albania and Czech Republic. I gave you my analysis and the reason why there will be up to two goals in that match yesterday and it was perfect. Albania won 3-0 and the reason why Czech Republic did not score was because of red card and another big issue why Czech Republic did not score and it cost them, or should I say it will cost them their qualification spot is because of poor conversion rate. That is Czech Republic biggest problem, poor conversion rate yesterday because imagine Albania started the game, the first nine minutes Albania has scored. In the space of the 9 minute to 40 minute, Czech Republic had 6 shot on target. They missed everything. Having red card, entering the second half, Albania had 2 shot on target, converting the 2 shot on target to goals. Czech Republic had 2 shot on target also, missing everything. So, I don't blame the red card 100% because you having red card and also having chances and not converting it, I don't blame the red card. So, Czech Republic were unlucky yesterday. Maybe the red card maybe affected them a lot. But their issue was converting their chances. And Albania used the opportunity and they are top of the table. Poland now are second. And I don't think Poland is going to drop from that place. So, yesterday games did well. I know the both teams to score I shared in which I said if you want to stick on it, it's fine. If you don't want to stick on it, it's fine. It was between Albania and Czech Republic. And Czech Republic missed everything. And Albania still won them. But our YouTube predictions yesterday, in which it was over 1.5, and Faroe Island versus Poland, straight winning, Czech Republic game over 1.5, was successful. So, congratulations, and we pray for success also today. Don't forget, if you want to um, register Mega Parry, in which is the bookmaker I talked about yesterday, the link is in the comment section. If you want to register, the best way to register is to use the email form of registration. It's fast and easy. Once you're registering, use my promo code JB100 for 100% uh, deposit and up to 100,000 Naira in your first deposit in bonus. So guys, check it out. Check Megapari. The bookmaker is doing very, very well. So let's dive straight to our business of today in which is also the Euro qualifiers. I will not waste your time. It's just two matches, and I'll give you my reasons behind my selections for the two games. And if you are not convinced enough about the reasons, because first of all, this is the international break. Normally, all these national team games are not to be trusted. If you are not convinced about my analysis, it's fine. You can forfeit it. You can patiently wait till next week. There are a lot of games to start next week because everybody is going back. And that's my anger. A lot of injuries are going to be accumulating. That is just the truth of the matter. So if you are not convinced with my analysis, you can just rest, save your money and wait for next week. But I believe the uh, analysis will be able to convince you and not to confuse you that the predictions are good. And if you are new to this channel, if it's the first time you are coming across this YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button because it's looking at you. Ensure you hit it and turn on your bell notification is very, very important. Most especially show the channel your support by hitting the like button. Let's dive straight to today's business. Our first game for today is between Austria and Belgium from the Euro qualifiers. First of all, Belgium are first, Austria are second in their table. None of them have lost any of the single game. They've played five. 1-4, draw 1. Austria has played 5 also, 1-4 and draw 1. And the last game they draw or they drew was against themselves that they played 1-1. One, one. Now if you look at this table, we have the two teams having 13 points. Belgium scoring 13 goals and conceding just once. 
to show how defensively Belgium are good. Austria has scored 12 and conceded 4. Also, Austria are doing well. But one big issue here now for this match is injuries. Injuries, as you can see on your screen, the players that are injured for Austria and Belgium, especially for Austria, they are much because it's too much. Most of these players are going through a lot, play national team games, go back to the league side, play comeback again, play friendlies, play this, play that, play European tournament, Champions League, and they will get injured. So that is what is causing all those injuries and is affecting Austria and also partially affecting Belgium. But the favourite to win this game, like the favourite, even though I would select anybody to win, it should be Belgium because the team are more offensive compared to Austria. Belgium are more offensive with the lack of Lukaku, Doku or Penda. These guys are in good form. Lukaku scoring back-to-back, Doku doing very well, or Penda for Leipzig scoring good amount of goals. So even though I will back anybody to win, it should be Belgium, you understand? But I believe this game is going to be very, very tight, you understand? Because I've told you in the table, Belgium are first, Austria are second with the same points, 13, 13 points. And another key factor is Austria are at home and they will do anything not to lose this game today. If this game ends in a draw, in which is very likely to end in a draw, Austria will be very, very pleased with the, uh, with the scoreline if it ends in a draw. But Belgium will be looking forward to win this game. Even though they come out with a 0-1 win, it's not going to be bad for Belgium. But Austria will not want to go down to, def- to defeat. But Belgium also will not want to go down to defeat. Because anybody that loses this game is risking his um, qualification. Despite, I know, they are, they are safe, but it's best you just... The best option for the two teams to prefer to draw this game than for any of them to lose. So it's going to be a very, very tight game. My prediction for this match, my prediction for this game is under 3.5 goals at 1.32 odd. And why am I giving under 3.5 is because the game is going to be tight. I've given you my reasons. It's going to be tight and nobody wants to lose this game. The Austria don't to lose, likewise Belgium. So under 3.5 is a very good option. But if you are not a fan of under 3.5, you can go with over 1.5. This game has a very high chance of ending in a 1-1 draw or Belgium winning 2-1 or Belgium winning 2-0 because Belgium are the clear favourite in this game today. So both teams to score is another option at 1.74 over 1.5 at 1.30. And for player to score... Lukaku to score anytime at 2.36 odd. These are other options you can explore if you are not a fan of under 3.5, in which is my selection. Over 1.5 at 1.30, both teams to score at 1.74. And for player to score, is Lukaku to score at any time at 2.36 odd. So that is all for the Austria versus Belgium game. It has a high chance of ending in a draw. So, that is the first match. The second game in which is our final match is between Netherlands and France. First of all, if you look at um, the table, if you look at the table, we have France first position, Netherlands second position, Greece third position, Ireland fourth position, and Gibraltar fifth position. We have France playing five matches, scoring 11 goals and conceding zero. France has not conceded in their past five games. Netherlands has played four games, scoring eight and conceding five, having nine points, while France has 15 points. And France will want to try and win this game, in which I know is going to be very hard due to Netherlands being at home. But at the end of the day, France will not lose this game. That is just the truth, because injury issues also is affecting Netherlands. Compared to France injuries, Netherlands injuries are more bad. But at the end of the day, I don't see France losing this game. Highest in this game should be draw. Maybe a 1-1 draw or France winning 0-1 because France has not conceded a single goal in the tournament. They beat Netherlands in the first leg around 4-0 or 3-0. So France will also want to maintain that form because France has more quality players compared to Netherlands. So my prediction for this game is France to win or draw at 1.36 odd. Other possibilities is over 1.5 if you want to try. If you don't want the France to win or draw, you can go with over 1.5. But my prediction is France to win or draw at full time at 1.36 odd. The first one is 
Austria versus Belgium under 3.5 goals. If you're not a fan of it, over 1.5, both teams to score is what you can consider. So guys, that is all the two games for today. And the only thing I can say is I pray for success. This is the international break. A lot of funny things can happen. But we always pray for success. I've come to the end of today's video. I hope what I've said and what I've explained was able to convince you that the game of Austria can end in an under and France should win or draw. So take good care of yourself. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you have not subscribed. I will see you tomorrow in which is Saturday for more well analyzed tips. Take good care of yourself. If you want to join my Telegram, the link is pinned in the comment section. I will see you tomorrow and bye for now.